Hey guys, it's uh, Quentin from the Swim Tank channel here, and welcome to a new video. I know it's been a long time, but um, yeah, there's uh, just some having some troubles in life at the moment, so um, that's why. That, I'm not gonna say any more about it, but uh, then you know. Um, so I thought to to do one battle for you guys again. Uh, today we're gonna do Grand Realistic 4.0. Still very underrated for the tanks that we're gonna use. We're going to use the M3 Grant and the M3 Lee. And if I run out of tanks, I will use my M3 Stuart. And we're going to be basically be up against everything up to a Panzer 4H, which all these tanks could easily kill at any angle. So, um, yeah, in my opinion, the M3 Lee and Grant are just as good as the Panzer 4H is. Um, and the Shermans, of course. Almost as good, maybe even a little bit better than the Taika one is, in my opinion, uh, due to having armor, pretty good gun. The guns are actually more close than you would think. So, um, but anyways, I'm gonna have fun with these, and uh, let's see how this goes. I actually really like playing realistic. However, the tanks are way too slow. I can basically tell you guys that the tanks are as fast as arcade, pretty much. <clears throat> a little, maybe a little tiny. Bit slower, but about as fast as, as the game is arcade. We got pretty good armor also on the ground one. We got, uh, as I, um, we got up to effective thickness. I just checked. Sides are 40 millimeters, same as on the Sherman. The front is uh, 60 to 70 millimeters, so just as good basically as about Panzer for H. Panzer for H is about 80 mils, maybe just a 10 millimeter difference. Um, and the front of the turret is 80 mm thick, which is thicker than on the Panzer 4H, that's only 50 mm thick. So, uh, pretty good, and mobility is also really good as well. 40 kmph top speed, but I think that's a little bit higher. I think it's more like 49 to 50 km an hour top speed. Uh, maybe even a little quicker than that. Because already the Sherman with this particular engine with the 400 horsepower radio could already hit speeds up to 49, 50 km per hour. So, yes, um, same goes for them freely, good armor, good mobility, uh, uh, also the penetration of the 37, we're just firing standard uh, APCBC rounds, um, the standard APCBC pens 90mm, 90 which is quite a lot, almost 4 inches, and the, um, the 75, uh, also APCBC pens 100mm, so really good. More enough power to kill everything up to a Tiger 2 from the side. So you start moving around a little bit here. This to be honest is not really my kind of map, long range map. We're gonna do our best to just get some kills. The only thing that's not good about it right now is that we have um, basically the wrong camo. I mean we kind of stand out a little bit. But um, it's fine, I haven't bought any camo for this yet. But we'll do our best. But this is not really my kind of map, I'm more like close quarters combat. Like uh, in the streets, you know. But um, yeah, we'll... Um, I just have to get into to a town. <clears throat> Seems like we've been... Uh, 4.7 I think, yeah, but we're fine with these tanks, these tanks could basically do pretty much, I could 5.7 to 6.0 You just have to be smart and you just have to know their strengths and weaknesses and as long as you know that Then and you use that to uh, basically use all of the strengths to your advantage Then you can basically fight against panthers and tigers in this game with this thing Literally the 37 could rip a panther apart already, only the 37. Like two or three shots and the panther is dead from the side. So that's pretty good. I actually would like to think to know if, what the T45 APC, APCR could maybe have penned on this. But I think um, it would have fit into this because it's probably the same, this fires, this M275 probably fires the same rounds um, as a... Um, M375 found on the Sherman, only the Sherman fire has a more higher velocity and longer gun. So, um, and that's why the Sherman pens 110 millimeters instead of 100 to this. So actually, 
I do think that T45 would have fit in this barrel. So um, I'm going to also do some calculations. I'm going to do some information on the M3 Lee, uh, M3 Lee video. What if we had, you know, I'm actually going to see if there actually is some uh, APCR rounds even for the 37. Because already they can both pan 90 to 100 millimeters already with standard sh heavy shells. So already very good power. Got a Cromwell Mark V. like we have a tank destroyer in front of us so what I'm going to do <coughs> oh yaddy 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 yay okay let's put my tank right behind here that's a dicker max I'm gonna have to get a clean shot on him let's see if we can get him got him Good, 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 good. Let's immediately change position. After you kill somebody, immediately change your position. <laughs> As you go, you see, we just blast everybody away. It's like this tank is so overpowered with the, with the two guns. 37, it basically knocks out at least two to three crewmen. And the 75 basically knocks out pretty much the complete crew. So, or at least that maximum one is left. Be very careful, move around a little bit. However, lose, uh, use a lot of bushes because our camo is not ideal for this situation. I do really like it's a lot more calmness in this gameplay. Like you know, it's a, it's a lot more real, uh, realistic, and also a lot more relaxed because not everybody can spot you right away, and so you have time to adjust to the situation. That's what I really like about realistic. I have to, uh, because I, you know, my weak, my, my weakness is that I have a little bit, I take a little bit longer than other people to react and respond. And in, in arcade battles, that when you fall short on that, um, yeah, you're gonna have trouble. But luckily with this, you don't have those issues. Because you have time to set your tank up. And just relax for a little while, and just check, just um, you know, very slowly observe the situation. See how I have time, you know, without worrying. I'm in a good position, to be honest, because I'm moving between the bushes. However, I don't have any cover. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Okay. Got another one. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to back away from here as well. See? Before they actually spot you. <laughs> look, there was a flag. <laughs> we did really well. We got two kills. Let's get the... Let's get the Grant again, why not? Nice, I have backup vehicles for it. Let's go kill that flak. This PUBG, this tank is just so amazing. There's so much damage, like 37. You could already one shot, if you're, if you're good enough, one shot a Panzer 4F2. Which is amazing. Both guns are fantastic. Move to the same position again. See if I can finish off that flag. Look like like he's being killed. Not sure. I'm not moving to there because there's definitely enemy vehicles over there. Look a lot of being killed over here. Okay, we got a vehicle here. What's that all about? What's that all about? Look at that! Got him! Whew. Nice. Okay, let's take it easy now. Because the flag could be here. 
Oh my god! Yes, or that could basically happen. <laughs> I didn't see him. <laughs> okay, we're getting in the Lee now. Good. We got now know where about he is. And we can spawn totally on the other side. The game just basically fucks with you. But oh, there's still the flak the flak has died. Yeah, there's a guy over there. He's in F6. Oh, we don't get killed. Oh god. Why? Why? Okay, move, 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 move. They gotta move fast. Holy shit! How could they be so close? Oh, look at that, it's only a little one. Too much strong, but it's no match for them, really, in my opinion. Okay. There's still a guy over there, and I don't know. Ooh. Let's back the fuck up. You already have three kills though. Which I'm really happy about. Even though this is not my kind of... Oh bro, don't do that. Yeah, he's gonna die. Yep. I know where he's at. He's right there. I hope he just would come straight towards me now. Nice, he died. Good. Man, they're so close to the spawn. It's insane. There's a guy over there. I'm guessing. Oh, cannon breach is fucked now. Yeah, totally didn't expect it to go to get three kills, to be honest. Because I'm not really good at long range operations. Oh, what do we have here? Come on, come on, go faster, faster. Let's use. Bangs! Two shots! With the 37, look how insanely powerful the 37 just is. Like, what the fuck? Two shots to completely destroy a Panzer 3. They completely destroy it. Everybody's dead in that tank. So I'm not gonna drive out too far. Damn, we got four kills. Jesus. Mm. Damn, they're just so dead. You're so close. They could be. There could be one over there, just a few feet or a few meters away from me. I'm just gonna take it very slowly, and very easy. The guy burning over there. Let's see if I can spot somebody. Like even the, we don't even need the 75. Like the 37 is just more than enough already, and then we get the 75 as a bonus. Where's he at? That's a dick and that dick and Max over there. I don't know. Turret is a little too slow to keep up with that plane. Just have to be a s very still. Thank 
could they could be lurking everywhere. Where they at? Just wanna survive this battle as well. I really don't know what to do at the moment. So we've, d we've been doing so well, I just want to survive this battle now. If I cannot see anybody, I'm not gonna drive and. Oh, they're in the middle of the map. Time to maneuver. We'll take it very slowly here. God. And it could be right over there. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> As a plane. I was hoping it would be a vehicle. Moving right by the side here. In case you're stopping to listen. <coughs> Switching to this side. Because it's a little bit op too open for me over here. Where is he firing at? It's a tank destroyer. Before I go over there. Holy crap, we almost got hit. Let's see if he wants to come close. Stand behind his building. Because I don't spot him yet. What is it? What is it? It's one of them. Okay. I'm gonna move as close as I possibly can. Oh, he killed him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well done. See to be some people. Look at that. Like, in this situation, like, you could be standing right there, but there's a guy around the corner there. Those situations I want to watch out for. Staying with this M119 or M19, sorry. Look at that, here he was. I'm a bit paranoid because we're very close to the enemy base. We could be killed at any moment now. I just want to get, really want to get to this spot here. I think it's pretty safe over here. Okay, that's just... Oh my god, he just died. Shit. Look at that, there we have another one. We have another one over there. Bang! See that? That's just a 37. One shot. <laughs> I wasn't even using my 75. That's how good this 37mm is. However, now, what I'm going to do 
I'm gonna retreat a little bit because we've just killed somebody in that spot which means they are gonna come to that spot but I will be a little bit back over here okay this is a good this is a good position so watch and listen now until they behind us I'm 19 just got killed again <laughs> we only how many kill we only got five kills nice Man, I totally didn't expect that whatsoever. That's a plane. Any three minutes left until the battle ends. Oh, I really don't know. I'm looking, but I don't see anything. Too risky to get over there. Let's see if we can if we can actually see somebody from here. Mm, I'm not taking the risk. Thing. Don't see anything. So I think we'll do is Let's get back. There's a guy with an A point. Good, good, 
good, good, good, good, good. There's a guy over there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I wanna kill him, I wanna kill him. Oh, we're too late, we're too late. We're too late. Oh, it's a draw. It's a draw. It's a draw. It's 54-54. Anyways, guys. Um, this is uh, Clinton. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.